Hello, Jess Too Good here with the Lego Ninjago Legacy Combo Charger Set. This has 71 pieces and it retails for $5 in the United States. I heard you could buy this at Legoland Discovery Stores. So both builds of the set are miniature versions of 2014 Lego Ninjago rebooted sets. This is the Ninja X1 Charger. The design here isn't anything too amazing. It does have some cool part usage. I like these pieces right here in pearl gold. They don't come in too many cheap sets and it's some nice part usage. And there's some good shaping with some cheese slopes and other sloped pieces. Not too much else to say here. Uh, really what you see is what you get. You can't fit a minifigure unless you want to remove this engine here, which is actually kind of easy. You can just push this forward. And then there you go. You have a seat for a Lego minifigure, I say, as it's coming apart. Really, if anything, this reminds me of a Lego Dimensions build, where they used to have the vehicles with the very small design and they weren't minifigure scale. That's what's going on here. It's like Lego Dimensions is living on in one way. But that's it for this build. Let's take a look at the alternate build. The alternate build is for the Kai Fighter, which is a set that I believe we're getting a reboot of in the 2020 Summer Wave. But also, it was a part of that 2014 rebooted wave. This design does have some pretty interesting techniques on how they capture the detailings. I mean, the katanas at the front is perfect for the blades at the front of the Kai Fighter. These parts are good for windshields. There's even this little engine part in the middle. And they have those folding wings done pretty well, where you could actually move them left to right, which I really like. There's some clips at the back. And not too much else to show going on here. The wing right here works the same way. At the top, there's this clipped on plate. You can move that up and down. I also position these blaster looking designs. I think in the original set, were they like push missiles or flick missiles? But as it for the miniature Kai Fighter, let's take a look at the instructions and the final verdict. As for the instructions, these are pretty simple. And like I said, you can only find the instructions for the Kai Fighter online. So overall, Combo Charger would have been a lot cooler with a minifigure, but this is a miniature scale set, and I think in that aspect it will be very good for LEGO Ninjago fans who are more hardcore and love the 2014 rebooted sets. Other than that though, there's not too much amazing build techniques. I definitely like the Kai Fighter a lot more. I think that's just a more interesting build in general. And for, I guess, a $5 price, I'd rate this one like a C. It's an all right poly bag, but nothing too amazing to write home about. If anything, the star of the set is the Kai Fighter. But that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.